can see from the title today, we are doing a summer haul, a try on slash let me give you all the deets on Sheen and um, on some other brands that I have actually been loving throughout this quarantine that have been getting me by. So uh, without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in it. So from Sheen, I ordered a ton of stuff. Um, I actually found them, I don't know where I found them, online. Somebody was talking about them on their Instagram stories and I decided to just jump ship and buy some stuff. After all, we're quarantined so there's nothing else to do. So I ended up getting a few swimsuits, a few uh, pieces, one of which I'm actually wearing today. So you guys can see it's the shorts and like little bandeau top very cute it is mighty see-through as you can see uh, i have on a bra underneath but if i didn't everything would be showing so with that being said um the sets i will give you guys my feedback right now sets are very cute they are very thin very see-through-ish you guys will see with some of the other pieces i'll bring up later that they are just hmm, questionable but the price can't beat it so uh the first set that i got is this swimsuit so it is like this metallic like iridescent white uh bandeau top bathing suit this fits so good it actually does have padding on the inside too so it's not like super sheer and it's uh it definitely supports and it has these bottoms which are basically more of a I wouldn't say they're more cheeky than anything they're not a full-blown thong so this is the front and this is the back so you can see it's not necessarily a thong but it is pretty cheeky so your cheeks will be out in that swimsuit then the next one is this pinky nude strapless bathing suit as well so this one um, is in a pink it has that same padding very comfortable very lightweight you can see it kind of fits like that and then the back has this nice detail to it a little cross um, back moment and then the bottoms actually look like this so another cheeky they're not thong but they are a cheeky moment for sure so if you're not comfortable with your cheeks hanging out definitely don't recommend these but uh, they do look very very cute on very summerish and just again pool party vibes so I'm here for it I, let me tell you okay okay I have my curves I have been working my ass off though in the gym uh, for the past two years and I have made astounding progress okay I, I toot my own horn because I'm the only one that will do it so I'm gonna toot my own horn and I'm gonna say that I have worked my ass off and I'm so proud of myself so I may not look like slim you know like all tiny yet but I'm getting there I'm getting there I, every day okay and I'm proud of myself so therefore I bought these bikinis as a way to celebrate that I have been making so much progress um, every single day even in quarantine we're still working out six days a week okay and it's kind of frustrating but we'll get there so <laughs> with that being said I uh, went on a little splurge here because I felt like it had been a really 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 long time since I had bought bikinis and it was just long overdue i was my the last bikinis i bought maybe 2015 16 maybe maybe so therefore i was due for an upgrade and especially now that i feel comfortable wearing the two piece i was happy with that so it's all about yourself if you feel good buy this shit girl wear it if you, if you feel comfortable in your own body regardless of how you look everybody deserves to feel good about themselves and this was my feel good moment was buying this stuff for myself and actually wearing it because before i would wear it and i wouldn't or i would buy it and i wouldn't wear it because i didn't feel confident in it so now that's changed that has definitely changed <laughs> but anywho next top i got is this white it's a very pretty white like knit top has the little knot in the middle um this one definitely gives you under boob um moment right here on this bottom part so if you're not about that life i uh, would not recommend but this one overall fits really good i want to say this one was a large so this is a large and the top still fit relatively tight towards um when i put it on so um just a disclaimer if you uh, have larger boobs uh, or chest area you will definitely want to go up even a size bigger than that because this did not hold in and i don't feel like i have a very big chest so 
uh, that this top was very cute though so definitely recommend that one and then the bottoms that went with it are these high-waisted um, I wouldn't say they're cheeky like almost like a I don't know just a regular bottom I guess you could say and these actually fit really nice they're very flattering tuck in everything like you ain't gonna see nothing when you're wearing these so um, just uh, a nice High waisted moment. I don't know if I would really wear this out when it's like 100 degrees because this would make for a very mean tan line. I'm not trying to get those. <laughs> so, uh, hence the reason why I bought a lot of uh, strapless bathing suits because I did not want tan line. And then the next one is this other tropical bathing suit, which again, I must be planning for a tropical vacation. But is this top right here? So, this is the top. And then this one is very daring, guys. So just a disclaimer, this one is a little risque, but I'm okay with it. So this one is actually a very low-waisted thong. So this is definitely, I mean, it's not like a full-blown thong. This is the back, but it is pretty, <laughs> your cheeks is out all the way out. So um, with that being said, wear it at your own risk. <laughs> this one is in a size large and this one actually fits me loose so um, I felt like on Sheen their website was very like mm, I wouldn't say I have a, a definite size to Sheen I definitely think I'm gonna range from medium and large depending on what the item is because this top felt loose and the bottoms felt okay they weren't super tight and they weren't super loose the quality of these bathing suits guys are very um, what's the word very good they feel like if you bought a bathing suit from victoria's secret or you know somewhere that sells luxurious bathing suits for like 80 bucks except half the price because i got all of the stuff that i'm showing you today was all 70 dollars so it's very affordable so uh aside from this set that i have on right now i did buy another set which i was pretty excited for i love me some matching sets especially because it does the work for me matches its own and all I gotta do is worry about shoes and accessories so I was here for it uh, this one I loved I definitely you know of course it's a see-through moment but it works for the price so um, this one is like a so you put your hands through here obviously and then you would just throw this on and bring it down and then tie it in the back so you can kind of see it gives like a very like cute boho chic feel um definitely good for a vacation again i was on a tropical wave with this order i don't know what i was thinking but i got a lot of stuff um that was relevant to that and then so the top fit me really good but i will say that these shorts unfortunately were big like <laughs> Look at this. These shorts, I mean, they, they fit, don't get me wrong, but they just did not feel flattering, and I just didn't like that. So, for that reason, I am not too fond of them. Maybe I'll wear them to a family party, maybe I won't. Um, but they are definitely, I don't know if you guys can see, they are very see through, very see through. So, um, you'll definitely have to wear a good amount of clothing underneath unless you want people to have a show and this this one was in the size large as well so that's the only thing with the sets I wish that they did come in a size for the top and a size for the bottom but again food price can't beat it and then the last thing that I got from Sheen was this workout set so it has this pink top Okay, so this is a pink top, very cute. I love, um, I just love the overall shirt. And then these pants, which have this little mesh side here that go up the leg on the side, which is really cute. I loved it, I love the pink. Uh, it's actually, the camera's making it look darker than it actually is, but it's like a soft nude. Uh, but it is really pretty. So I like this <laughs> until I put it on and I was like, ew. Again, another see-through moment. You could see pretty much everything on here. Uh, when I put this on, I kid you not, you could literally see like underwear, you could see bra, you could see the logo underneath it, like completely mesh see-through um, for the whole set. So uh, right now that I'm working out at home, that's not a problem. I can wear this at home. Nobody's going to be um, looking at me, but 
as far as working out the gym absolutely not so just a little disclaimer there because that was a problem I was like no 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 but this was $11 so you can't really complain because it is what it is so I thought this was a cute set definitely recommend if you want something to lounge around on oh, so moving on from Sheen overall uh, my review for that is uh, it's definitely worth the money if you're looking for like swimsuits stuff like that I will say that the material on the uh, leggings set stuff like that is very uh, sheer and see-through so just uh, keep that in mind as you're shopping one tactic that I did use that I think worked to my advantage when I was ordering from them is that I looked at the reviews and depending on if people said it was too small or if it was too uh, too big I would order depending on that so depending on if people said uh, it fit them too big I would order medium if they said it fit too small then I would order a large so that's kind of how I uh, decided on what sizes to get just because I didn't want it to be a complete fail so I ended up getting a few different ones um, large medium large medium as you guys saw and they fit perfectly so I will say that um, when you're determining determining your size on Shein I would probably use that method too that's just worked what worked for me so that I wouldn't get my sizes incorrect and then be a complete flop. So definitely plan to order some more stuff. I think they have affordable cute clothes and um, I mean it, for me I don't mind the sheerness. It's like whatever is what it is. I'm in my house anyway so it's not like I'm out and about. If I was then of course I would you know cover up a little bit more or want something a little bit more covering but for now that I'm just in my house ain't nobody gonna see it so <laughs> with that being said that is my review on sheen so i hope that you guys enjoyed that um as far as some stuff that i have actually picked up in quarantine uh starting in or going into beauty here so i actually got these uh i've been loving press on really nobody's taking clients at the moment everything shut down so i kind of alternated because my nails are really really thin so i have to always get them done unfortunately i've been getting them done since i was uh about 18 i had i had to start getting my nails done because i worked at victoria's secret and that is one of the rules you have to have clean nails so i just decided acrylics go right ahead and since then it's been non-stop but um in quarantine obviously we haven't been able to do that so um i have been trying to i did get some press-ons from target uh, they were called clutch nails they were you know very thin round almond shape those worked fantastic i will give it that those took like maybe i would say a good month of quarantine those were on my nails <laughs> non-stop um and then my girl dom who is also a um press-on nail artist she does incredible nails guys Guys, you guys should go check her out uh, I definitely I tried to get on her website and order some when she last launched and within three minutes my girl sold out so I could not even get on there to buy some so then I ended up looking for some other press on artists um, just in in the meantime until my girl restocks and I'll buy some more from her but uh, I actually got found this uh, nail artist called nails yo and uh, she has a cute little shop. So this is what comes in it. So this is kind of like the box that it comes in. And then it comes with a cuticle pusher, a little filer, and the KDS glue, which if you know, that glue is glue. So I ended up buying two sets from her and they were pretty affordable. So I ended up getting these two. So I'm not sure if y'all can see, Let's bring it up close but it is a white ombre and a very milky white um, set with but, uh, butterflies and then the bottom one has some little crystals on it which I thought were really pretty so when measuring these you definitely want to buy sizing kits I actually bought sizing a sizing kit from Dom and uh, she uh, helped me find what my size was so uh, I have these on right now but once I actually go in to uh, take these off I will go and put on these uh, lovely new press-ons and I'm probably gonna keep ordering some to be honest because they have been so convenient for me and you know you just Take the nail, you, your pretty little nail, you pop it on, throw, throw your glue on there, and bam, it's just like, voila, you nail who this. So um, if you guys are interested, I would definitely recommend press-ons. At first, I was very skeptical because 
if <laughs> you know anything about uh, old school days, I mean, I sound very old saying that, but uh, when we used to get Kiss nails, you know, those press on nails, I remember just being in, in class <laughs> and you go to sharpen a pencil or even just grab something out of your bag and there goes your nail or you shower and there goes your nail. So it's like, I, I was very skeptical, skeptical about press-ons because of my experience when I was younger, but these definitely hold up great quality. Um, they're very sturdy. You can wash your hair, you can take a shower, you can, I've been working out with them. Uh, I've also been, you know, washing dishes, doing all that stuff. So you can pretty much do your everyday life. You just have to be gentle, of course, and uh, dependent on how rough you are with them will depend on how long they last. But overall, I would say, 10 out of 10 recommend. These were really good quality and once I can actually cop some for my girl Dom, just believe she will, she will be on these hauls uh, as well. And then next going into um, some skincare. So obviously I did my makeup today for the look. I kind of wanted to have this nice glowy look. If you guys are interested in a video on this, let me know. But aside from that, I haven't been wearing makeup uh, really at all aside from maybe like once a week uh, that because I have to. But aside from that, I have not been wearing makeup at all the last two months. I've been very just like, bleh, no motivation to do it. Just no desire to do it anyway because I'm not going anywhere. So with that, I have really invested in my skincare and I've, I had a moment where I actually tried, I don't even know where I put it, a moisturizer from Target and because my skin was getting really really dry and really itchy so i really wanted something to tame that and control it uh but it was so i went and i got a moisturizer and let me tell y'all that moisturizer gave me so much texture <laughs> like my skin okay my i don't have perfect skin obviously but when your skin is nice and smooth of course your base and your foundation everything looks great right no, mine was like textured bumpy, like from the bottom of my eyes all the way down to here, like it was just bumpy and it looked disgusting. So I didn't even want to put on makeup guys, like that's how bad it was. So I was just like, what do I do, what do I do? And I have been using this brand for a minute or the, this other brand that I'm about to bring up right now and they were always good. They, so I was like, you know what, why change up my routine? I'm just gonna find something that works for me there and it'll, It'll probably help me out and what do you know it did my skin is smooth again it's no longer as textured as it was of course I have little bumps here and there but nothing as extreme as it was at that time and I was mortified I will not I don't know if it was that moisturizer I was using a combination of different of a lot of new things just because my skin was so dehydrated but uh, either way, I'm not using any of that product that I was using before. So, anywho, so I've been really invested in my skincare. So starting off with kind of uh, my morning routine. Uh, so I've been using Paula's Choice, and Paula's Choice was introduced to me quite a, a while ago, and uh, they started selling at Nordstrom. So I ended up getting some, and I will say. This stuff is magical. So this is the Essential Glow Moisturizer. So this is my morning routine. I use this in the morning to hydrate, uh, illuminate, and then this is also a SPF 30. So of course when you're in the sun, it's right now in the summer, great to put underneath your makeup and it's a replenishing cream texture. Very thick, but it does not leave that white cast um, that most sunscreen do, sunscreens do. So I will say that I uh, definitely recommend this one. Very lightweight. Um, it, it is thick when you put it on, but you can't feel it after that. So very good moisturizer. Uh, and then at nighttime, I have been using this new nightly reconditioning moisturizer. Uh, everything I'm talking about right now is Paula's Choice. And this is with wild cherry and flaxseed. It minimizes visible signs of aging, neutralizes daily envi envi environmental more words here. <laughs> uh, damage, soothing, lightweight lotion. So I use a little drop of this every night once I get out of the shower. And then I top it off as well with this 2% BHA liquid exfoliant. This is a, uh, this unclogs pores and uh, smooths and evens skin tone. So I've been using this for a minute now. This stuff works wonders. It is really great for your skin. If you have like any dark spots, I feel like this almost erases it. It's something about it that just makes your skin just look so like fresh and just smooth. I love it. Uh, and then 
Next on my list is this CBD oil and retinol. So this one here is uh, targets the signs and causes of visible aging. You can use it once or twice daily. I only use it once a night because let me tell y'all, this serum is greasy like okay so you just like you don't even need that whole syringe there you could use a little drop and that's it and <laughs> this thing is makes you look like i don't know a complete grease ball i use very very minimal of it and it covers my whole face but just for the nighttime because i don't really like that much like product on my skin during the day I like it very clean and lightweight um, so this one I do use at night and I go to sleep with it and then in the morning my skin is plump it is very hydrated uh, and then any marks like sometimes I do get like of course my monthly hormonal breakouts and even those end up leaving a little bit of pigmentation on my face and this will has lightened them up so so much and I am so happy about that because uh, that pigmentation I could never get rid of and now with this I feel like it's just been taking care of me for sure so definitely recommend they are super affordable I might add as well I think the highest price I've seen for some of their products may be like 49 bucks and even then that's not that bad so just saying but uh, last product that I have is a purifying clay mask so this is also from Paula's Choice it's their clear um Will, willow herb and green tea uh, mask and this unclogs and refines pores absorbs excess oil and helps prevent breakout so I use this um, every couple of days I don't use it very frequently just because I don't like to uh, detox my skin too much but I will say that it is a really good mask feels very lightweight the scent on it very minimal so i don't really like heavily fragrant skincare because i feel like it almost defeats the purpose but this one has been working really really good so um i will say that and especially right now that i am working out at home uh my skin's bare so i like to cleanse it especially right after a heavy workout so this has been really good for me definitely recommend um, any of those polished choice definitely do your research i did my research on these bad boys and i will say that it paid off and my skin has never looked better for sure so um that's my little skincare haul but uh that is all for my uh video today i actually have another video haul planned i just am waiting for stuff to get here so uh i just wanted to share some stuff i shared it on instagram the other day and a lot of people were asking for a haul and try on video so i hope that this was what you wanted and i uh, hope that you guys enjoyed it and uh overall feel good about the stuff that i reviewed i do have a gym series of this haul coming uh, hopefully in the next couple weeks. I'm just waiting again for stuff to get here uh, of course with USPS being delayed um, and with everybody and their mamas shopping online. Packages are just taking forever. So with that uh, I will get, do it as soon as I get these items. I'm super excited for them. I have bought quite a bit of stuff that I think you guys would enjoy especially right now that we're in quarantine. Who knows when these gyms are going to be back open. So if you guys are interested stay tuned for that because that will be coming as soon as my stuff gets here but anywho um thank you guys so much for watching that is all that i have for this haul uh, i hope that you guys enjoyed it hopefully you guys uh, got a lot of good information from it it was nice and fun to do i loved getting dressed up and just showing you guys the good products that we got to uh go with this lovely summer vibe that we got going on so thank you guys again for tuning in i appreciate your love and for encouraging me to do this video for all the people that voted on instagram to do it Y'all are the real MVP, but uh, thank you guys so much for your support. Be sure to follow me on Instagram if you don't already. I'm sure that's probably where y'all came from, but anywho, <laughs> um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will catch you guys on the next video.